Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different's World YouTube channel. I hope you all out there having a wonderful day like your girl. And if not, manifest, plan, and prepare for a better one because I guarantee you all it is surely coming to you guys for sure. And if this is your first, second, third time or more to my YouTube channel, welcome. Happy to have you. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. So when I drop content, you guys come into Different's World and you come and learn about your girl, yeah? Speaking of coming and learn, you guys, I'm an author, motivational speaker, content creator, travel influencer, CEO of my all small business, Third Eye Entertainment LLC, a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate, inspire, and entertain all at once. So again, first, second, third time, or more, it don't matter. Just hit that subscribe button for your girl, yeah? All right, you guys, so we got a hobby for you guys. Today is Friday. I'm going to do it a little different for you guys. Uh, today is December 1st. It's World's AIDS Day. And you guys know normally on Tuesday we do our social awareness on Tuesday. So I'm going to do a little difference for you guys. It's a special one. Um, just got back from uh, watching the Janet performance here in Houston at the NRG Arena. Uh, we had a really, really good time, you guys, trying to control myself and uh, not get too, too excited. But I had an amazing time. I want to share and show with you all uh, my experience and as well as uh, just um, recap. Um, so getting into it. I got there a little late, but I think I missed like what one or two songs. She, when I got there, she was already performing uh, "Control," and so I, I got to my seat, started enjoying myself. Uh, she performed, of course, all her classics. When I think of you, "Pleasure Principle," you know, "Rhythm Nation," uh, what else? All of them, you know, "Feedback." Uh, I get so lonely. And all, all the Janet songs she performed, and you guys will be surprised. You know, this one really put on the show. Uh, uh, performed a lot of songs within an hour and a half, I think she said. But once I got there, I stayed like it was, I was stayed there for a good like over an hour for sure. But she performed a lot of songs within that short amount of time. I mean, everybody was rocking and having a good time. Although this wasn't a, a big or a, a stadium, don't get it twisted. This is Janet Jackson, so she sold out the arena. Everybody showed up from you know the oldest to the youngest. They were all having a good time, and I was right along with them, y'all. So um, <laughs> I think. Um, one of my uh, favorite uh, moments is when she was performing Scream. Everybody lost it there because nobody expected her to uh, perform that song. And of course, you know, it's with her brother Michael. You know, of course, she's no longer here, but it's a piece of the King of Pop. But when he had, then she had him come on the screen and was singing his part, you know, for a split second. You know, I forgot I was, you know, watching Jen and started, you know, thinking that, you know, Michael was going to pop out. And start screaming, Michael, Michael, oh my gosh, it's such a good time, man. Um, we just had to remind myself, oh, wait a minute, you know, he ain't coming, you know, but this is his sister, so it's close as we get, right? This is twin. So, um, yeah, when she performed that song, everybody lost their shit, and then so did I. Uh, she also performed one of my favorite, a couple of my favorite songs that, you know, a lot of people that doesn't get airplay when we ooh, uh, and better days, man. That song is just an affirmation in itself. Uh, but I uh, had a really, really good time, you guys, and uh, as well as a couple of things. So uh, she performed, you know, a lot of hits, and then she performed at the end one of my favorite songs by her called Better Days. And so that song just is it's an affirmation that gets me back on top and just remind me to move on and let go from the past. And so I was really, really happy she closed out the show with my favorite song, Better Days. And so big shout out to Janet for showing up to Houston and showing out and showing us love and putting on. Um, definitely can't wait to come back. You know, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you love this again before. Uh, what else we had? Oh yeah, I'm seeing in the comments and other videos. You know, people were surprised by our vocals. I don't know why. I'm playing with my girl. Uh, her vocals was on point. Um, like that wasn't any such surprise. But she did really good, man. It was a really good performance, y'all. I hate that y'all missed it, but I did. So <laughs> you guys live vicariously through me. What I'm going to give Gavin and, and uh, further jaw jacking with you guys, I want to show you guys uh, the full concert clip uh, of all the songs and, uh, that she performed, uh, as well as you guys check out this video that I found, this informative video on uh, AIDS and how it got started and how it's progressed and what we can do to help fight for the cure. Uh, again, with this uh, performance, she came to Houston uh, to perform for World AIDS Day, and so uh, all the proceeds went to a great cause, you know, um, who else we had? Uh, Debbie Allen was there. Uh, they uh, awarded Blair Underwood uh, the Humanitarian Award um, for AIDS uh, research that he's uh, been a part of. So big shout out to them. Um, so I had a good time all around, man. And I was supposed to go see Janet back in June when she came back in June, but I missed it. And so it's like the universe is looking out for me. Early birthday present. So thank you. 
<laughs> but without further ado, you guys, check out these uh, first informative video about AIDS, and then I'm going to show you guys um, my adventures at the Janet uh, performance in Houston for the World's AIDS List. So without further ado, you guys, check it out. Dip as well. Come and learn. Each year, December 1st marks a day that is used to bring awareness to a deadly disease internationally. Join me as I share interesting facts about World AIDS Day with you. Getting the word out about how this deadly disease has impacted millions around the world is important. The World Health Organization established World AIDS Day in 1988 to get the word out about AIDS. Next, another example of a way people get the word out is with a symbol. Annually on December 1st, people around the world wear a red ribbon as a symbol of solidarity for those impacted by AIDS. Now, if you're asking what is AIDS, AIDS is a very serious disease. AIDS is an acronym for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome, and since the 1980s, millions have died from the disease. Sadly, even though AIDS has been around since the 80s, many are still battling with it today. That is because since the disease was first discovered, there has not been a cure created to stop AIDS. AIDS is caused by a virus named human immunodeficiency virus, better known as HIV. HIV can enter the body through infected blood or other bodily fluids. It's not something that can enter the body through someone coughing or sneezing or touching you. A terrible myth about HIV is that it only impacts certain people. HIV is a disease that can affect anyone regardless of who they are, which is why getting tested for the deadly disease is very important. So join us in spreading the word about World AIDS Day and uniting to support millions who have been impacted by this deadly disease. So, how y'all ladies feel? Y'all about to go see Janet. Yes, we're going to see Janet. <laughs> so, I actually, right? I kind of actually, I think it's the universe looking out for us because she came in June and I didn't get a chance to, uh, I missed it. Like, I, I missed the deadline to buy the tickets. And I think it's uh, funny that her and Beyonce, Beyonce's a movie coming out today and she's yeah. back in Houston. So, hey, win win, right? <laughs> All right, y'all. <yeah. laughs> So we out here, about to go get my tickets and get in. So check with y'all later. Dip as well. Come in later. We at the uh, World's AIDS event here with Janet Jackson performance. So let me put my camera up. All right, bye.
sharing this special night with me for World AIDS Day. It's, it's amazing how far we've come with research, with technology, with medicine. I want us to, to always stay strong, always fight, and to always move forward to better days. Amen. I used to say I am wonder, but would I ever be happy? Life was so bittersweet. So many disappointments, so many ups and downs for me. So welcome back, or he out here selling t-shirts and boosting after the World AIDS Festival or little event they had. Jan was out here, little Janet Jackson, she just got to perform and everybody had a good little time. Um, so I'm like, well, let's stick it again, get out here, somebody's smoking that good, good. Um, but I enjoy myself, damn y'all. First of all, while I'm sitting here chit chat, I need to make sure I know where I parked and where the hell I'm going in our stadium is that way and so i that's the arena here come on let me look at here look at here y'all okay 
But in any case, we had a good time. Um, I had a good time. A little early birthday present to myself. Happy birthday to me. As you guys see, I'm out here in my little fit. It ain't much, but enjoying myself. How you like the uh, little concert? It was amazing! amazing. I liked it, it because... It was worth every penny. Yeah, and she performed you know, the whole, whole time. Set. We didn't have no interlude and had to wait on nobody. Well, she scared us at first. I thought she left, but you know, when they start chanting no, the name, she, she wasn't was, going for that. No, I knew she was changing clothes. Oh, okay, yeah, she was doing a little wardrobe like change. But it was worth every penny. It was. I like the fact that it was up close and personal. all clothes on. Yeah, this time. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all have a good night. Get home safe. All right. Oh, well, don't hit me now, baby. Don't hit me now, okay? Because I go to I just got hit.com on your ass. <laughs> All right. But in any case, y'all, looks like they bumping Jan uh, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just had a good time. Um, trying to talk and not get lost at the same time, y'all. But, um, any case, I had a real good time. I liked the fact that it was very intimate and up close and personal, and it wasn't a, a large, it was a large crowd. Don't, don't, don't get it twisted, baby, this is Janet. People showed up and showed out. You showed up, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> exactly, there you go, she showed up. So, <laughs> don't get it twisted. It was a, a nice little crowd, but it wasn't as packed, like, say, Super Bowl type shit, you know? But, um, any case, y'all be on the lookout for Vlog. World AIDS Fest. I also like the fact that the proceeds went to um, AIDS uh, Research Foundation, so that's also a good thing. It was for a good cause, too. And so we had a good time, gave back to a good cause, you know, enjoyed myself. And so hope you guys enjoyed as well. Um, looking at that video I shared with you guys earlier about the uh, uh, little background on AIDS and where it comes from and how it starts and how we can all work together to fight for it to find a cure. And so with that being said, you guys, I'm going to find out where the hell I parked and where I'm supposed to be. Well, I'm sitting here chit-chatting with you guys, and I'm going to close out when I get to the house. All right? Peace. Different girl. Come and learn. <laughs> All right, everybody. Welcome back. So I found out where I'm supposed to be going on my way towards Kirby Street out here in NRG Stadium. Uh, to close out my vlog for you guys on the World Ace uh, day on December 1st. I know I'll be airing this a little later than uh, December 1st, but hope you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe to uh, my vlog as well as I uh, just want to put it out there for those out there. Be sure to check out my website, differenceworld.net. Get at your girl. Check out my other social media handles. I know I'm not making eye contact with you guys because I gotta be sure to watch out for This is Texas. I don't give a damn that you run. But, what you call the street? Um, Again, be sure to go to my website, differenceworld.net. Get at your girl. Check out all my other social media handles, including my Instagram, my TikTok, as well as my YouTube channel, you guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for your girl, yeah? Uh, as well as, don't forget my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, is available as well. Leave me now. <laughs> Again, this book was written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations. So, again, be advised, you guys, if you can't take this type of heat, still come on to the kitchen. Just get you, you know, a little fire blanket. You'll be all right. That's the point of it all, you guys, is to have these conversations that need to be had and that are often swept under the rug. And so that's the point of it all. So, again, go to my website, differenceworld.net, and get your copy of my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift. Um, and I'm freestyling this and giving this a little props too, so you guys try to work with me because I still got to work out where I'm going. But, um, and next, uh, uh, vlog we got coming to you tomorrow will be Wednesday, so we'll be dropping, uh, a podcast interview for you guys, so be sure again, hit that notification bell and that subscribe button so when I drop content, you guys come to different world, come and learn, yeah? Also, you guys, before we get out here, we want to do our mental health check for, again, anybody out there that's going through any type of mental anguish, be it, you know, depression, bullying, having suicidal thoughts, again, whatever the case may be, please know that it's okay to not be okay, but don't ever sit there and not be okay. Go get help, whatever the case may be, be it talking with a therapist, a family member, a friend, getting on, a, you know, hobby, many broken bridges, whatever the fuck you gotta do, do what you gotta do. Again, uh, for those that may need these mental health resources, please feel free to share with Anybody you know, uh, the crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255, or you can call or text 988, or you can text 741-741. For those that prefer to go online, you guys can check out mentalhealthishealth.us.com. Oh, that song, dude, she was just my favorite song by Janet. They were just playing that, and I cannot believe she performed that well. Oh my gosh. 
Also, you guys, <laughs> don't forget to check out 988lifeline.org. Or for those that are outside the U.S., let's check it out your girl's YouTube channel. Be sure to check out encounselor.com. Again, that is spelled E-N-C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G.com. And remember, you guys, although I am giving you these mental health resources, please remember that it's on you to do your own homework and your own research and find what works best for you. Yeah? Ooh, snazzy. Hold on, we got to get him. He got to go on camera. Wave, mom, camera. Yes. I like that. Go on, boy. Shining bright like a diamond. That's what's up. But in any case, you guys, <laughs> be sure again, do whatever it is that you have to keep your mental health in check and keep you from going off the deep end. Um, and remember, whatever is trial and tribulation that you guys are going through, this too shall pass and you will get through it. So going off the deep end, it's not an option. It's not worth it. So therefore, don't do it. Okay? And so with that being said, you guys, I'm close and near to the street. So I'm close on out with this vlog again. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell for your girl. Yeah? And with that being said, don't forget whatever it is in life that you guys are feeling you're destined for. You have the manifest plan to prepare for it. And then we'll surely come to you guys. Dip as well. Come and learn. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustration? What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical? What if? A controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.